Good morning. It is the beginning of June and I am already on trail up to climb Mount Baldy. Um, this is a mountain outside of Clayelm, Washington and I am here at the perfect time because it is peak wildfire season. I already saw lupine on the way in. This is a pretty good climb. It's about 3,000 feet of gain in seven and a half miles. But the thing it's known for is panoramic views of the area, the lakes and the mountains, and this gorgeous ridge walk, which is like the final mile and a half to the summit. So I am very excited to do some climbing, see some wildflowers, and get some views. Well, I have made it to one of the first viewpoints on this trail. It is a little over a mile and a half and a thousand feet up and you get onto these rocky cliffs with this view. Oh, you can already see right near. This is just a teaser of what is to come. I did the first thousand feet of switchbacks to get up to this point and now Ahead of me, I have the next mile and a half, which is the hardest part of the climb, um, which climbs another, I want to say, 1,500 feet in about a mile. So it's going to start getting steep. But oh my gosh, the forest on the way up was so pretty. There are wildflowers everywhere. I saw those deer. We got the views. Huh. It's good, good motivation to do that next steep section, but wow, this is really cool. So I am in the middle of this steep section and whoo, yeah, you can see down there and then I'm going straight up this. This is a pretty steep grade. It's got to be like 35, 45% grade. So it is steep. I'm actually making pretty good progress on it though, but whoo, yeah, right about this part and it is as steep as promised. Um, but I have less than a thousand feet to go before I gain the ridge. And the ridge is the part of this trail I am the most excited for. So I am motivated, but oh boy. Yep, this is a good workout. I gained the ridge. Oh my gosh. After that steep climb, this feels very good. But what feels better is 
that right there is the summit of Mount Baldy. So continue just following this ridge line up to the summit. And I'm very excited because this is the part where the views are gonna open up on the other side, but whew, hardest part is over. Also a lot of really pretty wildflowers on that section, but whew, yeah, my blood is pumping now, but the last uh, mile to the summit is supposed to be really pretty and it's gonna be pretty flat. So I'm just gonna soak it in. the summit of Mount Baldy, or at least one of the many Mount Baldies that are in this state. But, oh, this view is awesome. Oh, what a way to start June. We got some wind, and this summit has amazing views. It's open, wildflowers, so. <sighs> I got up here in pretty good time, even taking my time on that ridge. So now I get to hang out, have a much needed snack and study all these mountains because wow, you can see, you can see so much in all directions. All right, well, I will give the tour because this is actually a really cool summit. There's a view you usually don't get from a lot of other peaks. So this is the main view that you climb for. And the cool thing about this is the view of the lake. This is Cleellum Lake, one of the large lake reservoirs we have on this side of Snoqualmie Pass. And then the fun thing you can see on the other side over here is that is the tail end of Ketchis Lake and then Easton Lake. So we've got three large lakes. And then I guess I'll start with the mountains here. We've got Mount Rainier, of course. And then you can see the top of Mount Adams. That's the white snowy one in the distance. And then we're starting to look west towards uh, Snoqualmie Pass, so you've got like Snoqualmie Mountain up here, Silver Peak, all of those mountains. I think I can even see granite. And then we're getting into the Alpine Wilderness. We've got Castle Rock and those jagged peaks out there. This point up in the middle here, that is actually Fork Mountain. I climbed that last year. This lookout on top. Oh, hopefully you can hear me over the wind. This mountain here, that is Mount Hinman. The bigger one next to it, that is Mount Daniel. I climbed that, which was so much fun. And then we're looking at like Granite and Trico and Hawkins Mountain, a lot of the Alpine Lake School Boys, like Central Peaks. And then we're coming over this way and we've got the view of Mount Stewart and the Enchantments and Hex Mountain and all of these summits over here and then further into the Tianaways. 
And then further this way, this is the I-90 corridor heading into Eastern Washington. Uh, the wind just picks up anytime I want to talk to the camera, but really cool view. Like getting to look down on this lake with the Alpine Lakes Wilderness behind it is just Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Um, and this is the ridge that I came up. So follow this ridge and then you go down. I parked somewhere down by the lake that way. So amazing view. And now I have to go find a lunch spot. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. I just came off the summit and that is such a cool view and now I'm going back on the ridge and this ridge is really awesome. <laughs> this final mile of this trail is amazing um, but I'm going to make the descent all about the wildflowers because I passed quite a lot of them um, before the sun was properly out and uh, it is peak wildflower season so I'm going to stop and try and take a picture of every different type I see and see how many I can find. I think I've seen well over 20 and everything is just in peak bloom. So I am just going to be getting a bunch of shots of wildflowers on the way down. Should be a gorgeous descent. Well, that was Mount Baldy, and oh my gosh, what a fantastic start to June. I hit this one perfectly for the wildflower bloom up top, or really the whole trail had wildflowers. There were lupine, Indian paintbrush, balsam root, and then up top there were the avalanche lilies and I believe ground phlox. And I saw so many different wildflowers. Some of them I don't think I've really seen or noticed before um, that I have not identified, but oh my gosh, it was just stunning. And I was really looking forward to that top ridge section because it looked incredible and it absolutely lived up to the expectations. It's just so much fun once you do that really hard climb and then you kind of get that reward for the whole last mile of the trail with the views in either direction and all those wildflowers. And then the summit is really cool too. Like getting to have that vantage point over some of these larger lakes and stuff, really neat. And uh, all those Alpine Lakes Wilderness peaks were on full display and of course Rainier, but 
Anyway, really fun trail. The thing I will say is that it has 3,000 feet of gain, but this is a deceptive one where you gain the first thousand feet, it's flat for a bit, you gain a lot more, and then the top is flat. So the bulk of the gain is in two sections that are much shorter than you would think. It's not like a steady climb the entire way. The parts where you're climbing are pretty steep. Anyway, I am very excited to start June off this way. I have a lot more climbing to do, but Anyway, I have got to get going. Thank you so much for watching, and here are some of my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy.